Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ria. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about trends that I do want to see in 2019. Some of them are like predictions and some of them are just trends I really selfishly want to see happen. And don't forget to give this video a like. Don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe down below as well as turn on that post notification bell. And if you guys want to know what trends slash predictions I have for 2019, then just keep watching. Okay, so the first thing I want to see in 2019 is more inclusivity. And this is me, and this not only means in shade ranges, but also inclusivity in ads, ad campaigns, whether that be in makeup, beauty, skincare. I really want to see brands really take control and creative and social control over what they portray to consumers and reach out to more diverse ranges. I know that that it is starting to happen, but it's not happening fast enough. And I feel like knowing the budget brands have, a lot more brands can be doing a lot more things, especially in the drugstore. This includes like drugstore brands such as Physicians Formula, widening the range of their butter bronzer, widening the range of their foundations, like their healthy skin foundation, Catrice. You know, all those brands, they can work on expanding or even having a good selection. Next up, I want to see smaller eyeshadow palettes, but with a beautiful, whether that be colorful, neutral, colorful and neutral color story. And, you know, cheekily kind of match the cover, kind of explain it. Like, I honestly love the Gemini and... Um, what was it? Gemini? The palettes from Mellow Cosmetics. I honestly wish I still had them. I still want them. If they ever restock, I'm gonna get them. Like Colourpop has the most beautiful... I know it kind of looks similar, but they have... You can't deny, they have the most amazing colour stories. And I really feel like brands should take them, use them as an example and kind of use that to amplify and attract consumers rather than just through the packaging and then just give us some like boring ass stuff just with the eyeshadows. I would also love to see more makeup artists embrace their own makeup techniques and teach us what they like to do on themselves and the techniques they love using rather than just, I understand gaining inspiration and stuff, rather than just copying other makeup artist techniques and obviously they can try it out and all that stuff but kind of showing us their own techniques and embracing the technique they have because I feel each and every makeup artist have their own different styles and kind of different methods of doing their makeup and putting on their makeup and I'm tired of like your foundation has to come before your concealer, um, your eyeshadow, or you have to do your eyeshadow first or eyeshadow at last. Like, it's everyone's own makeup technique, and I feel that that's why we go to different YouTubers and choose them because we are attracted to whatever technique or style of teaching or video personality that they have. And I feel like instead of copying others, makeup artists, YouTubers should really just embrace their own and kind of exemplify that through their social platforms. I think that would be so bomb. Also, something which is super duper obvious, but cool tone makeup is coming back, and I honestly feel like Anastasia Beverly Hills, she really did that. She really set the bar again for cool tone palettes with the sultry palette. Honestly, I'm not a fan of cool tone. Cool tones scare the crap out of me because they appear really ashy on me. So kind of my challenge to myself this year is to really teach myself how to work with cool tones. And if I can do that, I think that would really complete one of my makeup resolutions for 2019. Um, even though I don't believe in resolutions, makeup goals for 2019. So yeah, definitely a lot more cool tone makeup and what we saw by the latest naked release, a lot more copying the... Anastasia Beverly Hills Sultry Palette. Next up, 
I want to see stay is the look of glossy, glowy, natural skin. I feel like that's going to be a massive trend and we're going to kind of, there's going to be like two spectrums. There's going to be quite an editorial side of makeup as well as a very glossy and natural side of makeup. I think we're going back to basics this year and that's what I really, really love and really want to see. Next up, we are definitely going to see more lighter coverage foundations. Because, I don't know, I feel like the trend is more like loving that kind of full coverage but lighter feel on the face. But also, it's more about evening the skin tone rather than covering it. So I reckon also with that, then we might see definitely more CC BB creams, kind of like the It Cosmetics CC kind of S type of foundation. Personally for me, I want to see the 70s come back. I know that might not possibly happen at all. But with the I Love Sarai collection and Colourpop, that definitely caught my eye because I'm all about the kaleidoscope, groovy vibes, 70s. That is like my ish. So if more brands can come out with like that kind of colour scheme, Scheme, that kind of you go will be down also definitely green eyeshadow is gonna make a bomb comeback I feel like this year was all about the oranges the mauves the reds but next year is gonna be all about the purples like the purples the smoky eyes the soft kind of um, diffused eyeshadow the diffused eye definitely green is going to be a staple color as well as purple and not like that lilac -y purple like that was like the color of the year in 2018 but like the like a dark like i'm just taking my tweezers but like a dark kind of purple like this i also feel like more brands are going to come out with those pot kind of pressed like the chroma pot Kind of type uh, the hourglass shimmer veils, uh, the Tarte kind of shimmer chroma thing. I think more brands, especially in the drugstore, are gonna come out with that. I know that they had the Maybelline potted eyeshadow, but not kind of like a potted eyeshadow, but more of like a shimmery kind of duochrome skin kind of finish, as well as a lot more alien. I feel like I've heard it from someone, maybe Angela, Angelica and Nykovis talked about it, a lot more space themed. Yeah, and I think that's the last thing I'm going to predict, a lot more space themed products, duochromes, kind of greens, that kind of alien-y, out of this world vibes, more brands are definitely going to be releasing a few more products that have to do with this theme. I think unicorns and all that like gothic collection and stuff are dead for now, but yeah, hopefully we don't see them come back, please, please. I'm so good for like a couple of mermaid collections, you know me. Your girl loves the mermaids, but other than that, the rest should just rest in peace. So guys, yeah, I think that's all I have for today. I hope you guys really like this quick kind of wrap up of the trends that I want to see slash predicting for 2019. I love you guys with all my heart. Don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe. I love filming for you guys and it's honestly my favorite part of the day, interacting with you guys in the comments down below. I love you guys with all my heart and I'll catch you, my beautiful best friends, in the next video. Bye!